What's up guys, it's Matt. So today I thought we'd do a different type of video before I get back into my regular uh, budget laptops and all that good stuff. Uh, I want to talk about my top five upcoming smartphones for 2018. Uh, the reason is because I was sort of underwhelmed by the smartphones that came out this year. The iPhone X I was really excited for, or the iPhone 10, whatever you want to call it, and the Galaxy Note 8. They were just a little underwhelming. I thought, you know, we would see a, a, some sort of surprise with them, but we didn't really see any big surprise. So I sort of got my eyes set on uh, the next generation of smartphones coming out uh, next year. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so coming at number five in no particular order are transparent smartphones. So Transparent smartphones sort of uh, in 2016 sort of got prototypes. We saw the Zoop Z1 uh, which was really amazing by Lenovo and also we've seen a few other prototypes by some other smaller Chinese companies and so I'm really excited to see this actually becoming a reality in 2018. I think we might actually see uh, a working um, modern day smartphone that's transparent so why I say modern day is because we did have the Sony pureness if you remember that smartphone it was a transparent phone uh, which is pretty cool so I would love to see a modern version of a transparent display I think it would be cool I don't know if the mainstream would really like that uh, because of privacy concerns but I think this would be an awesome smartphone so next is the surface phone uh, so this phone has been rumored for I don't know how long it's been rumored for a while and the latest that we have on this phone is that it's supposed to support a quad HD screen 2560 by 1440. It's supposed to use clear back Gorilla Glass 4 and it's supposed to pack a really special camera, a 21 megapixel pure view camera uh, with a 6 lens. Uh, so it seems uh, pretty good. I'm interested to see what Microsoft is going to do with the hardware with the Surface phone because uh, the laptops that they do the surface book and stuff like that uh, they're beautiful devices so I think Microsoft could really pull off a beautiful phone with this guy uh, some of the additional specifications 8 gigs of RAM it's supposed to have an Intel chipset 128 gigs of storage 5.5 inch AMOLED display uh, so it's supposed to be a really great phone like I said I'm more interested in the hardware with this phone I think Microsoft can make a really beautiful phone Next up on the list is the Samsung Galaxy X foldable phone. So we all know in 2015, uh, Samsung came out with these prototypes of these foldable display smartphones, but it never really came out. We started to see them implemented in the Galaxy phones, but we never actually saw an actual real, you know, curved foldable smartphone. So I think 2018 will be the year uh, that Samsung might release a fully foldable smartphone. I think that's pretty crazy. So the Galaxy X is what the rumors are calling it. Was for a 4K AMOLED display with a resolution of 2160 by 3840 uh, plus it will have dual rear facing camera module and the screen size will be somewhere around 5.5 to 5.7 inches now it's supposed to run a Snapdragon 845 processor or Samsung may use uh, their processor with it it's supposed to be powered with 8 gig of RAM also so we're looking at like I said 2018 for this I think this is definitely a possibility for this uh, smartphone I think it'll be really cool I think it'll catch a lot of people's eyes and it'll just be a nice cool piece of tech to see okay so the next phone is the Xiaomi Mi 7 so uh, this is a really awesome brand if you love cheap budget uh, friendly smartphones but also are high end uh, so I think this is a really dangerous company because they do make some really great smartphones so their next smartphone that they're working on from the rumors it's supposed to have an ultra HD 2160 by 3840 display a super AMOLED display the Snapdragon 845 octa core processor 6 gigabytes of RAM dual cameras and it's supposed to port support 5G uh, which is really awesome uh, so like I said the thing uh, about this company to get really excited about is definitely the price of the phone and the, the price to quality ratio is just amazing with these guys uh, so I'm really excited to see what they come out with what new innovative technology they might even put uh, in this phone you really never know next is the Samsung Galaxy S9 the phone that I'm most excited for uh, so this phone is going to be a beast it's been rumored for a while to have a three-sided edge display uh, which is going to be really awesome uh, so what more can they add to the Galaxy S9 they're going to make the screen to body ratio even bigger they're going to make the screen bigger uh, it's going to be bigger and better uh, which would be awesome it's rumored to come with 94 screen to body ratio which is going to be awesome it's going to support a 6.4 inch display 
with 4K resolution on top of it. The Qualcomm 840 or 845 processor packed along with 8GB of RAM. Uh, this smartphone is going to run Android 8.0 and most likely with Samsung's, you know, their uh, UI on top of it, which, you know, is getting better by, you know, each update that they do over the years has gotten better so that's not it's not a downer i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys later